Okay, right now we're just mounting up the flywheel. The generator is on his way. Nigel's uh, hot shot that over to Kelowna. So we're gonna get this flywheel mounted to the back of the flywheel housing. And the adapter plates are being shipped out right now to us. They should be here hopefully in a couple days. So this generator is going in. It's exciting. What was that I heard about red Loctite that we want to remind ourselves? Oh yeah, because we have a flywheel adapter. We're just gonna make sure. So you gotta put red Loctite on your bolts to hold your flywheel in. I'm not gonna do that in case we gotta change it because it's a pain. So I'm, we're reminding everyone, we're gonna write that on there so we don't forget to put the red Loctite in. And to myself, if I'm watching this video and this is three weeks later and we mounted the generator and I forgot, Just this is my reminder to myself, Just run take the out, generator please. out. So that flywheel there is going Yes. right there. Yep. Yeah, all right. Chase can keep talking so I can keep holding it. And yeah, yeah. That's right. Don't worry. It's not like this is a really heavy piece of steel that Dan is holding for us to make a video. Dan's got mechanic strength. Damn fucking right. Oh, fuck. Watch. watch. Yeah, yeah. You guys look yeah. cute. Oh, I've got a good photo with Rafe like this. Islands in the stream. No. Gordon's <laughs> <laughs> not going to like that one. Yeah, holding this up with my thumbs. Yeah, Take no, your time. No, no. I'm going as fast <laughs> as I can spin. All right, that generator that we had the shipping delay on showed up. Nigel himself uh, went and picked it up right from the warehouse, brought it over. Nigel from Flowdraulic. Yeah, that's yeah. correct, yes. Everyone's met Nigel before. Oh, maybe. Oh, that looks, oh, nice. that looks good. Whoa. Yeah. Very cool. yeah. Holy fuck. Yeah, she's gonna and be real close. Weird. We have half a centimeter to spare. Right. Oh, she's gonna suck. Yeah. Dude, we can't get a sling around it for lifting. Ashton's gonna bench press it in there for us. Well, I'm thinking the tranny jack can do this, but. Yeah, he hasn't. <laughs> he has a name. Sorry, Ashton. Oh, fuck. Well, stand on the back. Wait, then we're not gonna. Yeah, come back. Uh, foot, foot. We can probably bounce it under. Keep going. Keep oh, going. You got three inches. Yeah, two inches. Yep. Nice. Nice. And pin. No, no, it's fine. Okay. Oh, yeah. Unless we're in a couple of rods. <laughs> <laughs> Cheese scoop them, eh? Cheese built. Oh, yeah, start comes out. We bring it down, we take the pallet, we move the pallet on the shell. Here we go, this is our generator that finally arrived today. This is the Danfoss EMPMI 2000 T2000. I'm never remembering that. We just been calling it the 2000. But this is a waterproof generator. So now on a normal generator, like your back end of your stator is all open. That was one of the issues we had on Carl because generators really aren't meant to be ran off road. So what we've done is instead of running the normal stationary mounted air open air cooled generator, this is an IP68 waterproof, dust proof, liquid cooled generator. So this generator here produces about 300 to 350 kilowatts of power. Um, this is the plate we're waiting for our adapter plate to come to Kamloops. Theron's gonna go grab that tomorrow. This mounts up, but if you have a look, if we just circle around the entire thing, as you can see on the back end here, completely waterproof. The connections are on the uh, top end, so they're gonna stay out of the mud. This thing really is made to be an off highway unit. This thing is, it's actually, this thing is really skookum. I'm really impressed with this thing. I've been so happy that this has been here. All day we've been checking this thing out. I think these are going to be the future of the trucking industry. I think diesel electric is going to be one of those things that's gonna be the future. And I think generators like this are going to be replacing transmissions. 
And realistically, the cost is roughly around the same price as an automatic transmission. So it, it really balances out on par. The weight is about the same. This is, yeah, 600 pounds. So weights, hold on, 2.5. Uh, 700 pounds, so this is, yeah, 700 pounds, 320 kilograms. This is the future right here. It's kind of cool, and it, this is, uh, we are the first ones to ever put one of these in a semi-truck, and I think that is actually really cool. It's the future, and we're literally the first ones doing it, so. We know this is the right size, so we can test our generator size by sticking this in there. I, I, I don't think we need the eight inches, but no. uh, you know but what? To have it will be great. We can. I, I mean, shifting that, inches. but shifting that weight forward is also. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> he definitely does say that, and it's always disappointing. Yeah, the more weight you have on the steer axles, the better oh, the this better truck's going to handle. Oh, yeah, yeah. Better steering. Yeah and more weight you can pack on your drive axles. Because here, this is like bonus free weight. That's yeah. the weight where your load goes. And everything mounts off the top back. Like that's yeah. one of the things yeah. I was worried There's about. Is that they were gonna... There's no cables coming out the back. It's... Worst case, we, we are gonna mount this generator in before we put the batteries. So yeah, worst comes to worst, the... we drop them batteries. Worst comes to worst. Now let's see if the generator will fit in. Does it fit between the frame rails? Uh, when it's square to the frame rails. Yes. Yeah, if we grab the bolts, we can get those little spacers, put the bolts in, and then yep. actually see the alignment. Oh, look at that clearance. Okay. <sighs> It'd be nice to put them all in, and that just tells us he's got, he didn't screw up on one of the holes. Right here, this is the adapter plate we need to go from an SAE one to an SAE half. So you can see this is the size of the flywheel housing for the generator. This is the size of the one we got. So we're gonna stick these countersunk bolts in, bolt the one up, bolt the next one up. This fits, this fits. Holy fuck, that was that taller. Yeah. <laughs> Did we get lucky there? Well, that's what I, when we measured yesterday, it's like, holy. This entire truck is built out of good luck. Howdy. All right, we can bring this box in. Is he in a cast? Yeah. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Drop a 2,000 pound <laughs> axle on us. Nah, no, yeah, no problem. Use, <laughs> Use a, a drill, drill slightly wrong. I got a broken um, broken hand yesterday while drilling. It was pretty brutal. Yeah. Ended up just, you know, at the end of the day, last drill hole of the day, it was just gonna be like really thin sheet metal uh, for the brake light box. And uh, yeah, the whole thing kicked back and uh, totally threw my hand and my pinky finger out. Ended up baking not one, but two metacarpals. So I'm gonna cast here for the next four weeks. It's pretty, pretty lame. <laughs> Today I've been exiled to the back of the shop, which is good. I got a lot of things to figure out. So it's kind of a good thing because I get to focus on the electrical design and really get intimate while the guys are installing the batteries. It's just kind of a shame because when it comes time to actually cutting and stripping those big cables, I'm gonna have to rely on like Gabe and Zach to help me. It's kind of shitty, but like Chase gets a whole axle weight like thrown on his arm and he like goes to the hospital and the doctor's amazed. Like after an x-ray, he has no broken bones. I literally like am just drilling through sheet metal. I mean, the bit, the bit was huge, it's like an inch big, but still like first ever broken bone happens on a freaking drill bit, like, come on, like, how can Chase survive an axle and I get a broken bone from a drill? <laughs> Your last hole out of like 60. I know, like, yeah, the whole rest of the day I was, uh, I was drilling into like quarter inch steel right? and like, you know, it was kicking like crazy, but I had my leg to kind of uh, make sure it doesn't twist my whole hand. But the last hole was like going to be easy. It was just really thin sheet metal. So I kind of feel like an idiot, guys, but I'm not going to let you down. I'm going to work really hard on what I can do. And uh, I got a great team behind me that can at least crimp and strip wires. And uh, at least I got my head up here. That's not going away anytime soon. <laughs> I couldn't help but notice uh, that new hoodie you're wearing. What's that about? Oh yeah, so we got uh, new uh, merch, guys. Go ahead and uh, look up the uh, new hoodies on the store. Um, they're com super comfy. They're hitting yeah. this uh, this weekend. They're coming out. So oh. if this video beats it, you'll have to wait till the weekend. Hey. But yeah, we got new hoodies coming yeah, within no days. Yeah, for sure. And thanks again, everybody. And uh, yeah. Wish us luck. I mean, uh, I'm down for the count for a few days here, but uh, doctor says I should be good in the next uh, couple weeks. So, you know, fingers crossed. 
which I can't do right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny how fate works. Right, a little bit. Uh, right now we're just putting the battery bound boxes in. So these are where our batteries are going. We're putting in the cross members, the batteries, the airbags, just doing a whole test fit, make sure it all fits. Get the holes drilled out on the side of the flange later. Uh, batteries won't actually be going in for about another two weeks, but we've got to make sure it fits now at this stage. Yeah, hi there. I called in an order for 22 triple o tuesday burgers please so we got flo drolic out there today working with us and uh you guys bought us lunch it's a 140 forty dollar burger bill on you guys thank you for your donations through our merch store you did that through coffee for the crew and beers for the boys we appreciate you all right i want to thank everyone that's been supporting us here as we're doing our video so getting right into it i want to thank jesse mowbray from regina saskatchewan regina how the names of runs with fun I got Ian Hood from Fairbanks, Alaska. We got Daniel Gucciberg from Switzerland. Gucciberg oh, from Switzerland. <laughs> I've got uh, Dennis Rainier from Fond du Lac, Wisconsin. And I got Adam Ensling from Vernon, BC. Nice. Jordan nice. Wolf from Boca Raton, Florida. Uh, Pontus Carlson from Sweden. Oh, Sweden, sweet. Sweet. Cool. Uh, Caleb Blestel from Starbuck, Minnesota. Thank you. James Tamago from <laughs> London, Ontario. Flawless. James Ford from Shelton, Washington. <laughs> James Sackstetter, Sackstetter from Dayton, Ohio. Oh. Hey, Dad. We just need a second here for the video. Sorry. All right, we're almost done. Givatis Salaminosis from <laughs> Romeoville, <laughs> Illinois. You gave that to Dan especially, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> Ray Wagner from Hudson's Hope, BC. Nice, nice. Jean Francois Boudon from Quebec City, Quebec. Merci beaucoup. Austin Rule from Cedar Springs, Minnesota. Uh, Stephen Podjoy from Cranbrook, Australia. Oh, you got the Australia right. Howard Kettner from Kelowna, BC, one of our top donors weekly. Please come visit us. Absolutely. That's right. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. Kelowna, come yeah. on. Howard Morris from Australia, thanks. Ellie Regnier oh. from Smithers, BC. Yeah. And Terry Turner from Delta, BC. We got Kirby Hamblin from Calgary, Alberta. Thanks, Kirby. I got Dustin Howard from Skelkirk, New York. And Jackson Merritt from Clemens, South Carolina. Yeah, you got it. Yeah. I've got Tom Sturvall from Salamanca, New York. And Paul Apostolos from Toronto, Ontario. You got Connor Berg from Haiti, South Dakota. Ooh, I think you got the last two. Oh, and we got Chad Stockler from Grand Prairie, Alberta. Thanks, Chad. So thanks everybody that's been helping support us. It really goes a long way um, getting this truck done. I like, really, really appreciate it a lot. And how can they help? How do oh. they donate? Oh, we got a thing on the merch store. Like if you go to the Edison Motors website, you can buy the boys around a beer, coffee in the morning. Sometimes we get burgers for lunch or supper on these long days. I think we're dinner now at this point. I don't know. Yeah, but. <laughs> what time is it? Anyway? I don't know. We've been at it for like 10 hours now. It, it, that's dinner. That's <laughs> right. So yeah. thank you everybody. We appreciate thank the- you. Thank, thank you so much. Thanks thank you, guys. Too. Okay, we're just drilling the last few holes, but we got it up. We got the spacing right. So we're gonna drill these holes. Next time we're gonna fab up some cross members, get those in there, get the shocks mounted, airbags are all in. Everything seems to be working, the fitment was right, so we're on the right track. We've gotta get this done by the end of the week though. Thank you everyone for supporting our merch store. I'm dropping off a load right now. Here we have everything from mud flaps, we have t-shirts, hats, we have signs, we have stickers, decals. Thank you all, we ran a sale here. We're gonna run it for one more week. If you're watching this, the code is YouTube for 15% off.